about it, what I don't like about it, and this is the part two of the task of review. So tonight we're going to go through a little more detail. Like I said, we're going to talk about the different grip patterns. I'm going to show you how you can control this hand with a cell phone and some other cool features and a couple things I don't like that Tasca should have done better. All right, so let's get started. So what I do not like about this hand, all right, this bugs me to no end. These hands, you can rotate them, all right? You rotate them manually just like this, or you can use the additional wrist rotator I got installed. Different company, Tasca doesn't produce this. Uh, this is a motion control wrist. It'll spin all the way around, okay? Both directions really freaks people out. It's great. All right, so the, the, the hands always spin like this because you can twist them and that's how you take them off, all right? You take them off to put different attachments on. Put that right on, boom, different hand, all right? So let's get that off. Let's put this Tasca back on. All right, so why I don't like the way this rotates is because it's too easy. It, it rotates manually way too easy, all right? It's hard to describe, but think about it this way. If you put something heavy in this hand, if you put something heavy in this hand and you're holding it like this, there's pressure that wants to pull down on the fingers to rotate it because it's hard to describe but if you have something in here and it's heavy it's just naturally going to want to rotate this hand if I'm picking up something heavy with liquid in it you know a glass of water is not going to rotate that hand okay but if I have say a bucket or it really doesn't even need to be liquid. It can be anything that's heavy. Say it's a heavy pipe or uh, something long, like just say you had a flagpole in your hand and you're holding that flag and that wrist could basically just rotate and it's gonna make that flagpole tip. It's gonna fall over. It's no good. It needs to be t tightened up. I, I don't know if this is something they can do or or not. I have to look into that. Maybe if Tasca, if you're watching, maybe you can let me know. Uh, I would like this a lot firmer, a lot harder to rotate. It's just too easy, okay? It's not a deal breaker, but I need it to rotate better, okay? And I'm gonna compare it to the hand you just saw. This is a Greifer. I'll check. It's just, can you see the, the arm itself? Rotate, it's sort of through here. Can you see it? It's kind of jolt. It's hard to, it's hard to display, but it's a lot firmer and this will allow me to pick up heavier objects like this without that rotating okay not a big deal it's not a deal breaker you know typically when I'm working I'm wearing this I'm not wearing a multi articulating hand I work for a living I don't have a you know I'm not a youtuber that sits around all day no offense to anybody of course but I do have a real job this is something I do on my spare time to try to help other people. I'm trying to inspire others. I'm trying to show people that life goes on if you lose a hand, lose an arm. Life goes on. There's so much out there that can help you. So anyway, I use this and I just don't want to beat this up. This goes with me to work, from work. I'll wear it at work, but if I'm doing something strenuous that's going to beat up the hand, 
I take it off, which is common sense. I have the other device, so I might as well use it. Utilize them both, make the best out of both, and it'll everything's gonna last. So anyway, let's pop this off. It's not what this video is about. You came here for the Tasca. Now, I'm gonna try not to make this video too long, but here is some different buttons. I'm trying to film this myself, and I'm watching my phone, I'm watching the GoPro. So here are three buttons. This one has a hand that changes different grip patterns. The center button, if you press that, like that, that turns off the grip patterns that you change with your muscles. So you move your muscles in certain ways, it'll change the grip patterns of the hand. Okay, I've discussed this in other videos, but on my arm, it's two muscles to control the wrist in both directions, the open close, the changing of the grip patterns, there's five grip patterns, plus button activated grip patterns. So that center button turns it on and off. There's, a, there's another button, a home button. If you press that, the hand goes into a home grip pattern, a default grip pattern. 